All right, people. <laughs> a pleasant, a pleasant good afternoon to you on this Independence Day. Yesterday I started something um, in good faith, you know, in, in, in the spirit of meekness to help my friends in the diaspora to understand how the, how the, how the barrel or how the receiving of gifts are, are treated by persons who are members of the Barrel Receivers Association of Jamaica. Shortening BRJ. Alright? Now, receiving barrel is not just an entitlement, it is a culture, it is enshrined, it is ingrained in our cultural psyche. Alright? And all that I was trying to do is just to let you understand how some of us feel about some of the things that you said. All right, so I am not dictating, right? Men are demands, not but me have to make on know, right? That on spend the money wise because we know so on work in a coal, all right? And we know say so on a work in a eat and in some undesirable conditions, just so that on can send the things them come out here to it, right? And I must say to you that there are many households right now that have one little corner, stash of one box with some tin things that nobody not eating. You understand? But true, we are Jamaican, we no waste food, so we make it stay there. Right? When you come, we no make you know. We just collect the things that might use that we want, right? And what we don't want, we take them store away until a time for we dash them away. Right? So all I'm doing is just giving you the little do's and don'ts. Because you have to send barrel anyway. Whether or not you like it, you have to send barrel. Because you have to come back out here. Right? And there's a difference between people, how they are welcomed here, if them send barrel or if them don't send barrel, I'll do that on another video, right? How we Jamaicans welcome on, right? And the way how we welcome on depends upon the rate of shipment of barrel. And it's a simple thing, you understand? So you know what? Do not get it twisted, right? Barrel have to send, you know what I mean? It's almost like taxes. There are three things that are sure in life, right? For persons in the diaspora, your barn, taxes, and barrel for sin. Right? Any one of them, they miss your life. I'm miserable. See, so please, don't rough me. Karen Nangle Girl Nangle. I do not want you to check my box. <laughs> I don't know you, but everybody know you now. Karen Nangle Girl Nangle. Look my up on Facebook. She check me one proper box. You know what I mean? So I'm bright. I demand things I'm not put up. That I am only the representative of, of your family members, all right, and they don't like some of the things that come in the barrel. So, I will talk about those other things on the next video. So, come, <laughs> happy independence.